is now a hurricane. We anticipated this would happen sometime today, but here we are. It happened just within the last few minutes or so. Let's get right out to Michelle Morgan with more on the forecast. Michelle. Uh, that's right. So this system is continuing to become or get better organized as the time goes by. So it definitely has that look to it as we take a look at that enhanced satellite imagery. We're really starting to see that convection trying to wrap around the center of this storm, that inner core. That's where we will find the strongest winds and the heaviest rain. So it is moving to the northwest at 15 miles per hour. So it is moving at a good rate here. And now we have Hurricane Ida as of the latest update. So we have maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour. Just as we expected, this thing is going to continue to strengthen because it will be entering an environment that is favorable for this system to continue to strengthen. So as we take a look at the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center, again, it takes it into the Gulf of Mexico and the environment is, is going to be extremely favorable for this thing to rapidly intensify. Right now we are looking at a category three hurricane as we look towards the landfall somewhere along the south these Louisiana coastline uh, sometime Sunday evening or Sunday night into early Monday morning again as a category three hurricane and of course while it's on land it will continue to weaken but it is possible that this system could potentially strengthen into a category for hurricane because of the setup of the atmosphere. And as we take a look at the tropical models here, I mean, at this point, they are in great consensus, taking it into the Gulf of Mexico and then rapidly strengthening. And right now we're just talking about exactly where the center of the storm or where the landfall will exactly be. Nonetheless, we will be on the strongest side of the hurricane where we'll see the strongest winds. Of course, the strongest winds located around this uh, eye wall, but we will see the heaviest rainfall strongest winds located on the north and east side of this system here. So that's what the tropical models are showing as of right now. But again, I do want to mention um, there is a hurricane watch in effect. Shortly, a hurricane warning should be issued soon. But as we take a look at the forecast wind speeds and also the gust, we should start feeling impacts as early as late Saturday night. So tropical storm force winds as that system gets closer to our area, especially along uh, the coastline, Bayou parishes will start feeling the effects here. As we go through early Sunday night into Sunday afternoon, that's when we'll start feeling the strongest winds in portions of Southeast Louisiana ex extending to north of the lake. So winds definitely a concern, but the amount of water this system is expected to drop, a lot of tropical moisture will be associated with this system. So th th that forecast uh, image I just showed you there with uh, the winds that's sustained winds. Now we're talking about peak wind forecast winds 140 plus in the areas highlighted in white and then you're looking at that lavender color 100 to 110 mile per hour winds again extends extending from reserve and also New Orleans can see the strong winds as well and then when we're looking north of the lake 65 to 75 mile per hour wind gusts nonetheless we are looking at very strong winds and then in terms of storm surge when that system makes landfall, pushing all that water along our coastline. And of course, this will change depending on exactly where the center of the system will go. But nonetheless, we are looking at extensive coastal flooding for many of our bayou parishes and also along the coastline between 7 to 11 feet. That is our thinking. And then also the lake we're looking at between 4 to 6 feet. And again, all of the factors are there for the system to continue to intensify as we take a look at the oceanic heat content. Again, sea surface temperatures, we already know it's above average. We're looking at 86, 87 degree uh, temperatures across the Gulf of Mexico. But when we're looking deep into the water here, again, the system needs that fuel, that the heat from the waters here, it is pretty warm, especially where you see that loop current. We all know about that loop current and it is going to cross over that loop current as early as tomorrow afternoon. And not only the heat from the water, it also needs uh, limited wind shear and it's going to be entering an environment where wind shear will basically won't be present to rip this thing apart. So as we take a look at the available moisture, we have plenty of that in the atmosphere right over the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, there is an upper level low located over the Gulf of Mexico right now. That's why we're seeing widespread rain, some scattered heavy down 
downpours. And again, it's going to pick up all that available moisture. And that's why we're thinking that the rainfall will definitely be a concern in many areas, especially along the coastal areas between 10 to 15 inches on top of the storm surge. And then some areas between 5 to 10 inches. And as we look uh, into portions of Mississippi, could potentially get between 3 to 6 inches of rainfall. So what you need to know, tropical impacts will begin Sunday night, rapid intensification likely at this point. And again, if you haven't prepared yet, now is the time and landfall somewhere along southeast Louisiana. What to expect? Expect widespread power outages, tree and structural damage, and flash flooding in a few spots through the weekend. As we take a look at a few models here, again, we're already seeing scattered downpours across the area. That is going to go through the rest of the day into tomorrow, again, because of that upper level low. As we take a look, into Sunday morning, that's when we'll start seeing some effects from Ida, Ida making line, landfall, and then we're looking at heavy rain across the area. So that's the update with Ida. As of right now, we're looking at scattered downpours right now, and there's a flat fl flash flood watch in effect through 10 p.m. for pretty much the entire area. So the soil is going to be saturated, which is not going to help us at all. Already tracking heavy rain across the area, heavy downpours near Buras, extending into Galliano this early afternoon. So again, here's a look at your forecast. Hot and humid today, scattered showers. And then as we head into the weekend, 90 degrees tomorrow, we'll start feeling the effects from either again, those outer rain bands late Saturday night, Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon. That's when we expect Ida to make landfall somewhere along southeast Louisiana. So 